Hello, my Lavinators, this is Flashmatch248, bringing you a, more of a slower game this time. Thomas was alone. Now, as far as I know, this is a puzzle game, but, eh, it's about all I know. So, without further ado, let's get in. alone. Well, a weird first thought to have. This game looks really cool. No fall damage. Ooh. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Okay. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. All right. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think! What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. Just like it this. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. <laughs> A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. And gentle push. Made it. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was I see a thing. Unstable. I'm going to go for the it thing. It seemed to Thomas that it could let him down. Now. Bail. This all seemed a little <laughs> dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Nah. Paranoia. Yeah. Paranoia can save your life. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Jump. It's probably important. It's probably very important. It might have been paranoia again. But Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why was the world testing him? No. No. Too obvious. Jump! 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 Thank you. Up oh, and portal. This is just... This is nice. Nice little calm game. I like it. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Do He made Jumping. another mental note. For water. Not good. To be avoided. Yep, I've already died twice in the water. That's kind of obvious. <laughs> Woo. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking yeah. would combat that. Yeah. Yeah. Jump. Jumpy. I'm 
gonna go this way. Jumpy. 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 Long jump! Okay. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was Jumpy. the mental list. Hey, everything's moving. Everything's moving. Yeah. Seconds since his spontaneous Jumpy. generation. Just jump. Jumpy. Just jumper. jump. Mm. I can't. Mm. He was evolving. Mm. He just wished he had someone to share it with. So that Thomas isn't alone. He must have someone to share this experience with. Thomas think he was. Made it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Made it. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. <laughs> okay. Actually, not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Jumpy. Okay. Um, where now? Okay. Nope. Okay. Jumpy. Jumpy, Jumpy. This guy. I'm falling. Not anymore. Jumpy. Make jumper. Jumpy son. Dang it. Jumpy. Dang schmack. Teleporter. How am I supposed to work? was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could hey. get to it. Which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open hey. up to him? Grace, hey. Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris yeah, couldn't shake it. the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly Idea. higher platforms. Sort of his point. Not gonna work. Oop. Made it, nailed it, nailed it, made it. Missed it. This is fun.
Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. Shapes. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Me. Parkour, parkour! John knew. Mm -hmm. He knew that this was new character. Yes. To shine. This was game day. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped yeah. on the wrong side of these little dot things. Boom. Made Where did they come from, anyway? Made it. Yes. And now him. Boink. It's actually easier than it was going to be. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. <laughs> time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to yep. show those little dots how it was done. Baby. Nope. Poop. Switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell and would the die for them. sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. We. Mm. 
No. No. Plunk. Get back up. I have to restart the level. <laughs> Teamwork is amazing. Teamwork make the dream work. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish level 1.9 and 2.0, and then I think I might end it there, guys. And jump. No, that's not gonna work. Um, button. How? This. John yeah. was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. I think I messed it up. John Button. was happy to keep Magic helping. Comes down here. He felt it was important to his image that he yeah. was seen to help the little guys. Charming way of applauding every time John jumps. I'm sorry if I ever haven't been uh, talking too much. I've been um, concentrating quite a bit. So, yeah, sorry. Okay, the elevators for those for that one, because the other two can do it just fine, but. He need, he's the one who needs help. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Right, 
made it. This was interesting. A floating hmm. target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Okay, so it's not 2.0, it's 1.10. Hmm. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make yeah. his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. supposed to do that? By doing the same thing I've been doing this whole time? Bam. Bam. jumping and she moved slowly she felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order the crumbling pillar was a dramatic death she supposed hey what Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not in fact dead it was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers! Well, this seems like a good place to end the video here. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought, because I really love to hear what you guys have to say. And with that being said, as always, stay clean.